Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. It's on. Gaudi just said he's hitting them with a full arsenal of constitutional weapons. The FBI and DOJ are intentionally stonewalling their impending their investigation despite their claim that fulfilling the request will be met with a careful review of sensitive documents. House Oversight Committee Chairman Trey Gowdy told Fox News Sunday that House Speaker Paul Ryan led a meeting Friday night with senior members of the DOJ and FBI, and made it clear that there's going to be action on the floor of the House this week if FBI and DOJ do not comply with our subpoena request. The House Judiciary Committee has requested more than a million documents from the FBI and DOJ relating to the Hillary Clinton email probe, the firing of former top FBI official Andrew McCabe, and reported surveillance of a Trump aide during the 2016 presidential election. Remember, Democrats claim there was no surveillance from the Obama DOJ and FBI that Republicans were lying to the media and trying to cover up the Russian collision. We now know the Obama admin DID in fact spy on then-candidate Donald Trump and even tried to cover it up. There is zero reason why we can even trust our federal government to do their jobs without shredding the Constitution. Under the heading of minor miracles, you had members of the House working on a Friday night, Gowdy said. Paul Ryan led this meeting. You had, House Intelligence Committee Chair, Devin Nunes, House Judiciary Committee Chair, Bob Goodlatte, myself and everyone you can think of from the FBI and the DOJ, and we went item by item on both of those outstanding subpoenas. And Paul made it very clear, there's going to be action on the floor of the House this week if the FBI and DOJ do not comply with our subpoena request, he continued. So, Deputy Attorney General, Rod Rosenstein, FBI Director, Chris Ray, you were in the meeting, you understood him just as clearly as I did. We're going to get compliance or the House of Representatives is going to use its full arsenal of constitutional weapons to gain compliance. Last week, Emails reviewed by Fox News showed that Rosenstein himself threatened to subpoena emails, phone records and other documents from lawmakers and staff on a Republican-led House committee during a tense meeting earlier this year, in what aides described as a personal attack. Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein threatened to subpoena emails, phone records and other documents from lawmakers and staff on a Republican-led House committee during a tense meeting earlier this year. According to emails reviewed by Fox News documenting the encounter and reflecting what aides described as a personal attack. The emails memorialized a January 2018 closed door meeting involving senior FBI and Justice Department officials as well as members of the House Intelligence Committee. The account claimed Rosenstein threatened to turn the tables on the committee's inquiries regarding the Russia probe. Fox News Gowdy told Fox News Sunday that the full panoply of constitutional weapons available to the People's House are on the table including contempt of Congress. In a statement last week, Gowdy said he was alarmed, angered, and deeply disappointed at the revelations in the DOJ AG report released Thursday that analyzed federal investigators' conduct during the Hillary Clinton email probe. The watchdog's report unearthed new texts from senior FBI officials who investigated both Clinton and the Trump campaign, including one in which the number two investigator on a Clinton probe, Peter Strzok, vowed to stop Trump from becoming president. That is classified as treason. Peter Strzok purposely tried to throw the 2016 presidential election and help Hillary Clinton win. Yet, the FBI tried to cover that up. The IG report clearly proves the FBI did everything in their power to help Hillary Clinton become president. All of their decision makings came from James Comey and was then to be completely covered up when Hillary Clinton was sworn into office. You can bet that on election night the FBI were in their offices shredding papers and doing everything in their power to get rid of all the evidence they had that would send them to prison. Gowdy reiterated on Fox News Sunday that the egg report was deeply concerning. I don't know what Mueller has, he said. I do know this, that bias is so pervasive and everyone who has ever stood in front of a jury and had to explain it in a way will tell you it is the most miserable feeling in the world and I've never seen this level of bias. Fox News What's even more troubling is the fact that Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton are still not being investigated. The two caused more scandals than any other administration in the past. This made Richard Nixon's Watergate scandal a walk in the park. Remember, Hillary Clinton was fired from the investigation because she was covering up evidence and trying to lie her way out of it. Hillary Clinton will probably walk free. Barack Obama will never be questioned because the left would make sure the Trump administration was shunned because they went after the first black president. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.